Hi everyone, my name is Kathy Goldstein and I work at Amorex Clinical Research. I'm going to speak with you today about working with CROs. I'm going to give you an overview of CROs and also describe some of the typical activities between CROs and clinical study sites. We'll start first with some definitions and history and then we'll move on to typical CRO services and the people that you're likely to meet when working with a CRO. And then we'll talk about some different activities that are undertaken between the CRO and the site. And then finally we will talk about site visits and communication. A CRO is a contract research organization. CROs are companies that help medical device, pharmaceutical, and biologic companies conduct the extensive testing and clinical trials that are required to obtain approval of their products from worldwide um, government regulators. Okay, CROs have been around for quite some time. Uh, their role has changed over the years. Um, in the 1980s, CROs were typically small companies and they were awarded projects that were perhaps considered low priority or back burner projects. Uh, these were projects that the company didn't think would really advance anywhere or maybe it was some boring and repetitive lab work but they were the CROs were given the projects that weren't as as interesting now these same companies are outsourcing many more tasks and jobs and uh, recently it's been thought that 25 to 30 percent of the total R&D budgets um, have been spent at CROs 